Hello everyone, this is your host Rav Ahuja and uh, we are here with Dr. Arvind Krishna at the uh, IDOC conference in Dallas. Hi Arvind, how are you? I'm doing good Rav. So Arvind, uh, can you tell us a little bit about what are some of the challenges that our customers are seeing in data management these days? Uh, much as we've been saying over the last few years, and we have over a thousand of our customers here at uh, the International DB2 Users Group, there's three main challenges our customers talk to us about. First, they're looking at their operations, they're looking at uh, the amount of time people are spending on maintenance tasks, on uh, doing the configuration, on doing the tuning, and on doing all the things required to keep the systems up and running, and these costs are getting out of control. That's the first one they talk to us about. The second issue, it's categorized, whether it's categorized as going green with energy costs, but it's really about the overall cost of infrastructure. What's the amount of floor space needed? What's the amount of energy cost needed? What's the data center cost? What's the amount of servers, etc.? And that's the second one they talk to us about for the sake of the mission critical applications. And the third issue they're talking to us about is go faster. Now go faster takes a couple of dimensions. There's a set of people who want to do everything in microseconds instead of milliseconds, and that's certainly going faster. And there's a second set of going faster, which is I want the project done in a couple of days or a couple of weeks, as opposed to a couple of months. And really when we put it back together, these are the three main issues that all enterprises and all institutes around the world are facing these days. All right, so how is IBM addressing these uh, challenges for customers? It's, it's an interesting topic. And all three require complex answers, and they're not confined to any one uh, simple uh, silver bullet. Uh, you require technology, you require processes. So if we take them one by one. So on the first one, when you look at uh, all of the operational issues around maintaining your infrastructure, we, we sometimes refer to it by the simple term autonomics. But it's not just about autonomics. It's about how do we make our software more self-healing? How do we make more and more tuning tasks automated instead of manual? How do we bring integrated data lifecycle management into play? How do we bring an integrated environment for doing all those things so you don't have to bounce across a hundred different consoles with a hundred different people and instead bring everything into one? When you look at what I term simplistically going green, if I got half your storage, that reduces half your energy cost and half your acquisition cost. If we can improve your performance, you can decrease your server costs and your server energy costs. And in both cases, your data center floor space as well. So technologies and overall solutions which can achieve those are of paramount importance to our customers. On the third one, when you begin to look at going faster, whether it's topics like in-memory database technologies, real-time warehouses, as well as being able to deploy and leverage technologies from the web 2.0 world, like those in our, what are sometimes called mashup centers, etc., all allow our customers to do things in microseconds and get projects done in hours and days as opposed to weeks and months. Okay, so how does DB2 fit into this strategy from IBM? Uh, DB2 is at the heart of the strategy. When you look at the autonomic capabilities delivered in DB2, you look at things like the self-tuning memory manager that we delivered first over two years ago. You look at extreme workload management, which allows you to manage all of your workload. You look at the extension and compression, the extension in XML. Uh, applying all of those technologies together both reduces the, uh, increases productivity of the DBAs who leverage the technology and goes on to also lower the operational cost of systems which leverage uh, DB2. You look at the announcements we have with SAP, with Amdocs, uh, with other ISP partners, with other system integrators. You look at the compression available in our warehouse technologies. All of these are hard dollar savings which our customers can leverage. Then when we talk about going faster, a mashup center which leverages DB2 as the core database can, you can leverage uh, stored procedures or other queries in DB2 exposes web services or RESTful interfaces into the mashup or Web 2.0 world. You look at using in-memory technologies like Solid, which we acquired in February of 2008 as an in-memory cache right in front of DB2 with uh, access times of a microsecond to 20 microseconds. Those are all ways that DB2 
can bring these values to bear for our customers. Okay, great. Sounds good. Thank you very much, Arvind.